Thank you for being with us at the Mark Twain Library. We'll go ahead and we'll get started with our evening. So we have a very special program for you. Um, we're joined by Buddhist teacher Geshe Dargi of the DNKL, the Tibetan Buddhist Center for Universal Peace right here in Reading. So Geshe Dargi has been, began his training at the age of 10 when he entered the Sarame Monastery, which is one of the largest Tibetan monasteries. Geshe Dargi received his ordination as a novice monk in 1982 and received the vows of a fully ordained monk in 1994. Direct, and he received this directly from His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. He then continued his studies and obtained the highest monastic degree and went on to teach at Sarah May Monastery. He is currently the resident teacher at DNKL. So we are so fortunate to have him with us tonight. He's gonna to explain a little bit about Buddhist meditation and then lead us in several different meditations. There's gonna be a couple times throughout the evening that we'll stop and pause for questions. So please feel free to ask your questions. You can either put them in the Q&A function or you can ask your question, um, raise the electronic hand and I'll see that and I can unmute you and let you speak or you can type in the Q&A that you'd like to speak and we'll unmute you. So we're excited to have you and um, we are recording the program so you'll be able to revisit the meditations at any time and also please let your friends and family who couldn't be here tonight know that it will be on the library's YouTube, YouTube channel in probably about a week. So without further ado, I'll turn the evening over to Geshe Darge. Geshe, thank you and we are honored to have you with us. Well, Geshe, you are, um, you are muted. So. Oh, okay, thank you, Sandra. Um, so thank you for uh, inviting me here. Uh, I'm your neighbor, as Sandra's explained. Um, so, and then I don't know how many people uh, knows about meditation or how many is not. Uh, and, but uh, I just assuming most of you there, uh, you know some kind of meditation, which not try to repeat it to save time. So um, as we send the paper, um, what is meditation? Uh, I think uh, it will be clear on that. So that's, again, I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, and then the really important things, um, and also it's uh, uh, constantly happening with us when we do meditate. So therefore I just let you know important things is that during the meditation time, we have to only the follow instruction. Kind of like you are two things doing, right? The ex uh, experimental, um, that one you study it, what is meditation? Yeah. Then you can have a lot of question. You can think a lot. The another experimental, that's you are actual meditating, either close your eyes or half close your eyes. So you are actual testing with it how it looks like. When you test it, you have to test exactly how we instruct it. So otherwise, uh, when you test it, but more following your own thoughts, your own idea, that's not really your testing for others. You are more testing yourself or how you think it, right? So uh, therefore, so there are many uh, meditation uh, meditator or instructor there. Um, so whenever we do, again, let me repeat it one more time. So whenever we do meditate, we must follow exactly that instruction. For example, uh, when the instructor say, think breath, you only think breath. You cannot think what the color of breath, how fast or how slow breath. This is not instructed. So think breath and then just think breath. It's not the involved the color and everything. That's constantly happening with us. So how looks color? And then slowly, slowly, you are describing more and more about the meditation. And then actually you are not follow the ones uh, instruction one, number one. And other things you are not really meditating. It. So this is very important. So never question it during the meditation. Do it exactly how it's instructed. That's the general. Every time, every time, either it's a single-pointed meditation for calmness, or 
it's a cultivating meditation or analytical meditation, whatever meditate you are meditating. During the meditation time, just follow the instruction, right? And no more question. Never ever question, right? Just do it. That's the way that you uh, after you are finished the meditate, you have some kind of experience. You know some, uh, you know some result. That's part of the examine, right? Exam, you are testing or you're examining that uh, the, how they said it. So therefore you have to do exactly how they said it. That's, you know, I kind of repeat a lot because it's important. Even during the meditation time, please not think, am I doing good? Am I doing not good? It's also not your object. Right. So, but you know, when instructors say, okay, this is you think you are doing good or not, then it's becoming your object to think, am I doing good or not? Otherwise, say, think breath, only the breath. Beside breath, nothing, think, anything. Right. This is um, in general help you a lot uh, anytime or uh, wherever you meditate or uh, whoever you follow the instructor. Right. This help. Okay. Uh, that's the one things I like to say before we start the meditation. And then um, uh, the one things what we what I, what I do actually, and then it's a lot of help me. So just come back from outside, either work or like a, a whatever you did the outside and you're coming back and then to the meditation class, you are sitting down, your mind still not uh, like a able, 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 able to think whatever instructed, right? So therefore it's very good to do at the way beginning, take deep breath, three to seven. You know, today we just doing three time, okay? So three to seven that you can do each time relax. For example, okay, now we can do, take breath, inhale from your nose and exhale from your mouth, okay? So deep and long breath. Few seconds, relax. Again, inhale from your nose, long and deep. And relax. So again, the last one. Deep inhale from nose. And relax. So I think you might notice that it makes you kind of like relax and calm, you know, seven times, many times you can do. But when today I did like a, like a with a strong sound, right? When we do the group meditation, not that strong sound. It's had to be more, more gentle in and out, right? So just today uh, we're in the home. So they can take like, this is help. So uh, this is the way beginning. Always just sit down after you sit down in the seated on the cushion, then do this before you start the meditation. It will be makes you calm and then a little bit, you know, relax. So, and then I don't know today, also, I'm trying to not mentioning about the posture because the time is like very short, and then um, the, all the postures are not important for short period meditation, um, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, right? But some people dedicate, like a, they meditate until 
they get resolved until they achieve something. For them, these postures are very important. But for us today, the all posture is not important, but only I think your body should be straight. That's, that is one of the important parts. Straight your body, not just lying back or just in front or side, just very straight. And you can see clearly it help you to not sleep. And there are more, more benefit there, but clearly we understand it's not let you sleep during the meditation, like straight body, and then hands gesture, whatever you like, you can take it, but more relax, put in your lap. Whatever you take this mudra gesture, doesn't matter, but put in your lap, it's relax, not lift it up your hand, just relax, right? And again, body straight, it's important. And um, the, your eyes, it's a, most of them people like to the close. Um, if you like to close your eyes, as you know, that gentle close, not strong and tightly, right? Gently close your eyes. Or you can look at your eyes, not, not completely close. You just look it down where your hands keep it. Or you look at you down the level of you where you have your knee, you know, this level, you just look it down. You know, that's help you, you know, when you open, look at there and here, you will see many different color, many different, and then it's distracted to you. So therefore, just your eyes, either you look it down and level up to your knee or gentle close, both are fine, right? Okay. And um, yeah, I'm giving more question as a time today. Therefore, I'll just begin the meditation now. And after that, you know, again, um, uh, bringing more, you know, that, or try to calmness your mind or uh, uh, the, re release the, your distractions or stress. The one thing we can do is uh, focusing on a number, right? Today, we're going to focus number from 80 to one, the count back, 80, 79, 78, 77, 76, like that. So count faster will be the better. And uh, if you count slow, then again, having um, the chance to have distractions, right? So if you count faster, then really, really your mind stay with the number. You stay, it's staying with the number. So we, we will not let you think anything beside the number. Also therefore count faster will be the better. And when I stop, you can be completed up to one or not. Don't worry, okay? So because um, I'm not seeing you, usually I wait until everyone open their eyes, you know? So today I'm not seeing you. So we um, take one minute to count, you know, focus the number and count it from 80 to one, okay? Let's do it now.
Okay, can you now open your eyes slowly? Okay. So this is part of that we are warming up, you know, when we do exercise, it takes time for warming up, right? So it's like a warming up your mind. <clears throat> so that having better constitution. So, and then um, we're going to set up intention, which is really important uh, to help you to not think beside any object, right? So that we're going to set up intention that um, the for meditation and also intention for purpose of meditation, okay? The first we're going to set up the intention for meditation is just think that I'm here now, 10 minutes. This is my time for meditation. Therefore, I'm not judging anything myself during the time, meditation. Try to exactly follow the instruction. And I'm not thinking anything what I have done today because this is not the time to think it. And also I'm not thinking anything what I have to do today or tomorrow and next. Again, this is because this is not my object. If I think it's be obscure to me, it disturbed me to have perfect meditation. And briefly, things all together. I'm not thinking anything what done. I'm not thinking anything what I have to do. Well, I'm not thinking what I have to left over to do. Nothing judged, I'm not taking any judgmental for my meditation. Just try to follow every single word of instruction. strongly committed that I'm not thinking anything at the during the meditation time. This is the time for meditating. Okay. Now we are setting up intention with the purpose of meditation, right? So here I'm try to make myself more calm, reduce my all this negative emotion, but not just for myself. I'm doing meditation here for my family. Because when I can make myself as calm and reduce all this negative emotion, it is a lot of help in family. It will be more cause them happy happiness. So therefore, I try to change myself through by this meditation, not just only for me, for family. Who lives with me every time to bring in more peacefully in their life.
also, I'm doing here meditation for name my neighborhoods, as well as can bring more peaceful in my family. Same way, I can bring peaceful in my neighbor through by changing myself, through by make calmness, reduce all this negative emotion. by this meditation. And then you can go bigger and bigger and so as well as I'm meditating for my family and neighbors, also I'm meditating here for all the people who connected to me, all, all this who lives in this earth with us, with me. Now let me re repeat the briefly. So I'm meditating today for family, my neighbors and all others being who lives in earth in this with us. And a little bit go deeper, think it's stronger, think that. It's not just you repeating word. You really sincerely think that. Okay, now take a little bit relax after you set up both intention. And establishing this all purpose, what I think it's really depend on calmness, my calm to my mind. So therefore, first I'm going to Make myself calm and thinking the breath. So now breath is the only your object, okay? And then inhales and exhales from both, both from nose and gentle, naturally. And then breath, inhale, think. I'm taking my breath in, exhale, think I might, I'm taking my breath out and count as a one. And again, inhale, same thing. I'm taking my breath in, exhale, I'm taking my breath out. So continuous counts up to 10, okay? So we just finished two and do repeat those. Inhale and exhale, think, and at the end of the exhale, then count three, go up to 10. Once you reach your 10, then again, inhale and exhale, repeating the 10 again and count back 10, nine, eight, up to one. So take your time. I'm muting here for um, more than a minute.
So I can wait a few more seconds. <clears throat> and then after that, release your meditation and you open your eyes slowly. Okay, thank you so much. <clears throat> so this is one idea, one technique to make your calmness, you know, mind calm. <clears throat> so because um, thinking many different objects, of course you have distracted, right? So then we try to stop the mind, think a lot. Therefore, keeping one object and try to focus on it and try to stop all these other thoughts, <clears throat> which is distraction. Then that if you do more and more of this, and once you begin, begin, like begin that um, really better concentration, and I, I can say same time, you have joyful, right? <clears throat> so our mind is, so computer, like a computer. Open one program at the time will be better, fa faster and quicker and clear. If you open 10 program on the same computer, it's not let you allow to work properly. It's hang, it's tech wasting time, right? So same this meditation, shutting down our mind to think a lot. So therefore, only one program that we use it with our mind, which is breath, to think only breath. And then few different type uh, or few different way to think breath. This is one, uh, one type of how to think breath. And you know that you have to repeat it again and again, okay? And yeah, of course, repeating is boring with us. Why? Because we are more focusing on number and time period. You know, oh yeah, more than five minutes I did it, more than 10 minutes I did it, or I did 10 time, or I did 100 time. Okay, if you focus that way, that every meditation which you have to repeat it, keep bothering you. Beginning part is okay, and doing again and again bothering you. Therefore, what we have to think, my goal is having calm mind or having better constitution. This is my goal. Until I achieved, I have to repeat. Then how many times you repeat it, you know, how long you repeat it, it uh, don't make you different, okay? So because you're, you're more focused on your goal to achieve or change your mind, right? So this is one part of the important. In other words, easily uh, <laughs> make, makes you bored and, you know, um, there are many, I, I, this is my experience here. Do I see that many of these? Okay, this is part of, uh, the meditation for calmness or same time build up the mindfulness you know and uh, this uh, uh, said and then last part of that one more things I uh, important things I, uh, I like to say is uh, you know the idea today just just say example today we did it that's you know now then then you think okay now when I get stressed when I get distracted, I know the idea, right? And then you are not doing at the daytime or you're not doing daily. 
and after a week, then you have a problem. Strong distract, distractions and stressful. Then you go back to this idea and not help. <laughs> it's not help, definitely not help because the other side, distraction is too strong. The emotion is too strong. And your antidote, the breathing meditation is too weak. The weak cannot challenge with the strong then don't blame the meditation, right? So more blame that you didn't do practice. So therefore what I'm totally, what I'm saying is, as you know that just five minutes, 10 minutes every day, every morning, morning the best time actually, uh, if you get out earlier. So this is best time and then repeat it again and again, like every do every day. And once your antidotes become more stronger, then times comes that stress and distraction, I can say definitely help. Otherwise it's difficult to help. So before I lead the next meditation, which I like, want to do like a compassion or loving kindness meditation. So we can take a um, question. It's okay, Sandra? It is okay. So if anybody yeah. would like to type a question in or raise your hand and I'll unmute you so you can. You can ask your question directly. Give everyone just a moment here. You know, I had a question, and it's not about that particular meditation, but maybe while we're waiting for others to come to type in their questions, can you tell us a little bit about the center? And are, can we the public go to center here and ready to meditate oh yeah definitely definitely so it's in um yeah uh every wednesday 7 to 8 30 p.m that we have meditation class definitely uh you can join so all you're welcome and um this will be more single pointed meditation and uh, part of the analytical meditation um we have to more analyzing thing this is we're doing on a sunday uh the morning 10 to 11 30. Uh, and generally we say how to overcome difficulty in daily life for that we are bringing many idea and method to solve this problem and analyzing it so not say you have to accept because i'm saying it what do you think that's how we do in the sunday so you're welcome very good nice to know thank you and I'm not seeing any other questions. So if you'd like to begin the, oh wait, I'm sorry, I do have one. Heidi, if you'd like to go ahead, Heidi, and ask your question. Uh, yes, uh, my question is uh, meditation, enlightenment, the, the fulfillment, why um, is it as good um, for individuals comparing to maybe something different? Uh, are you mainly you saying why is, uh, how is benefit to individual? Or why Correct. Is why is important for individual, right? Correct. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, that's the big, uh, depend on we knowing that cause of suffering. And, um, you know, the most of the time, um, the anger, distraction, so on, so on. These are the actually cause a lot of suffering in our daily life, not having peaceful life. So that's meditation here. This is one type. Meditation is not 100% help you to reduce your anger, but definitely makes you calm mind. So that's as well as we have in calm mind, this is one of the peaceful mind, one of the peaceful time. So this is help individual. So whatever meditation we do, the benefit only directly help to the individual. And then once the individual change, then it's help to environment. That's how it go. Thank you. Yeah. Are there any other questions? So I see in the chat, there are other two. Oh, yes, thank you. You see, my body gets tight sitting up on the floor, yes where it start part um, 
start to itchy. <laughs> I found that distracted to my mind. And he, oh, yeah, the end was okay. I don't know that once you're itching. <laughs> so I think um, it's it, it. This is like a, your beginning time of meditation. Then I can say, please go more. Um, try try uh, more and more. Even um, this is the how we say practice, right? So when we try to uh, change our physical body, make more healthier or stronger or better shape, how much we have to work hard. So running or like do a lot of exercise things, right? So because you are focusing, you believe that exercise makes your body shape better, makes you healthier. So then uh, that during the time you are really soiling and what hard, you don't feel it's hard work because you see the result or you expected the result. And then you believe on that result. That's one thing. Same way at the meditation time, if you focus more on that way, so benefit it. So shaping better shape my mind instead of body. So change my mind instead of body. That exercise deep important, that mental exercise is very important. So therefore I'm doing, that's one might help you to continue uh, have a effort, you know, even the, you know, same as we are human beings, same. Uh, right now I can sit the cross leg three hours or two and a half hours continuous, but the, not the beginning time, five minutes. A tight has knee pain and back pain. Everything I do have it, but you know, slowly, slowly increasing it, expanding, increasing that. So okay, five minutes. After five minutes, I getting pain, and then so okay, one minute, just pushing one more minute, six minute. Then I take break. Then next time, six minute will not problem with you, and then again expand it seven minute, ten minute. And then back you, and then one day you will like hours, no problem with you, no back pain, no knee pains. So I right now definitely will have it because uh, we're not practice well. Um, this is uh, I think um, that the true practice, right? Mind practice and sitting posture practice. And what I can suggest it at the way beginning, you really not focus on the part of the body. You can sit down in chair instead of cross leg. Uh, and then uh, try to uh, more do mental exercise. Once you become a better constitution, then maybe a little bit added the posture things, make practice better. And I don't know, itching things, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> when you itch it, yeah, definitely uh, many meditators are doing, actually the breathing is our, um, you know, the uh, actual object. When you itch it, behind or backside. Now you are concentrated on Ichi. Wherever you have Ichi, you concentrate on it. Continuous, instead of you know, you're uh, scratching, just concentrate how it looks like Ichi. What is it? Where, where, where is it happening? How it's happening? Just concentrate that way. And then it might help you to go the Ichi, I think. Um, this is, if you want to do continuous practice, you know, that's, that's the one way, what, one way you can do it. And once your itch is gone, then minds bring back to the breath and continues. That's also possible. Okay. Great, great answers. Thank you. Yeah. And next I see here, Scott, um, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel uh, sorry, pronunciation is bad. So I have been using Headspace uh, daily for over one year. Still total beginner, should I meditate? semi-guided or better totally without app. Okay. Oh, okay. I've been using Headspace. Head, Headspace is one of the app name, right? Yes, it is. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, yes or no. I think I am again, um, my best answer for you, that's guessing. So I think um, sometime we follow that um that apps how they guide it and following exactly as i said the way beginning then makes you better meditate so few months is really you see the result uh if you not follow exactly then 
so as remaining as a usual because you are thinking how you think as usual you're not really thinking different than usual as i've exactly followed the guided that's one possible right and another possible is this guided is like a, <clears throat> uh it's more there are a lot of different type of object then i think still distraction is remaining there yeah, you don't have it distracted by out, uh, other object, but you still have a thinking many different objects during the meditation time. For example, you think in all this rainbow color, five, six different color that you have to think. Still mind need to think five, six different things, right? And it's difficult to bring mind better concentration and having mindfulness. Therefore, always choose one single simple object instead of five color. That's I'm just guy, uh, guessing if it is. Uh, today, what I lead the meditation, the, uh, the breathing meditation is a little bit difficult than music. You know, the people sometimes concentrate in music, uh, concentrate in like uh, any sound, uh, singing bowl, or whatever. It's more difficult than that but more benefited. How much you challenging, that much you get benefit, right? How much difficult you found it, facing on it, challenging in it, that much you can get benefit. So it's more difficult than music, but it's more uh, having benefit than music. So that's, uh, so can I say, um, you know, uh, direct answer, answer for you. And then my suggestion is, as our master guided to us, at the beginning part, we are break lot. We are not continuous. If you, if you have a 10 minute, take as example, you are not continuous 10 minute meditating, right? One minute meditate and release the meditate and then open your eyes, take break. Make this one minute perfectly, perfectly. You know, 10 minutes really definitely will have distraction or stress or mind will have other thoughts. So the one minute, try to strongly concentrate on that object. And after one minute, take break. Then again, another one minute, do like a one or two week, do like this. And after two, three weeks or one, two, one or two weeks, then that one minute, uh, you extend it to two minutes now, two minutes and take break. And another two minutes and take break. So uh, this is how we need to get familiar with the object or more stronger mind, mind, mind practice or mind training, right? That's the, you have to start from, start from gentle and small. Then you can, at the, at the year, after years, you have a very good result. At the way beginning, you expect it. Whole 10 minutes continuously meditate without any obstacle almost impossible actually, if, if we are as a beginner, it's almost impossible. So therefore, um, don't expect it big, you know, just do um, like a short, try to make one minute best, perfect. Once you get it, then make two minutes perfect. Once you get it, then three minutes perfect. But each time you take break. So therefore, beginning time, we have to take break, many break during the meditation time, Right, and then once you're getting better and better and better, and one day you don't need to take any break, continuously you can do it. This is uh, just additionally uh, my suggest on your question. Then last question I see here, do you do walking or moving meditation at the center? Uh, so far not, not doing it. Um, actually I'm not the who leading the uh, Wednesday class meditation, uh, Chappelle is leading that. And then um, we are not doing working and moving meditation at the time, yeah. Thank you for answering all the questions. Okay, so that's it, right? Yes, that's all the questions. Okay, so now how many we left? Um, okay, I think it's very short. I can uh, briefly guide to you that you have to make it longer, right? Today, let's say example breathing, which is one to 10, 10 to one, we just did one time, right? 
So you can repeat it many times as much as you uh, uh, can, depend on your time. So three times, 10 times, which means like a one to count it one to 10, 10 did one, that's one session, and repeat it another session, repeat it another four, five, six, seven, as depend on your time. Um, this is uh, just being example here, right? Same way I can be example uh, to meditate on <clears throat> uh, uh, what's here, uh, uh, compassion, okay? Let's say compassion. And then if you have a question, good. If you don't have a question, I might say why we need to do compassion meditation beside the single pointed meditation. Why, why we need to separate meditation. So what we did, breathing, as I said, makes you calm mind, release your stress, allow you to think better. But this meditation never ever help you to reduce your anger, reduce your ego, reduce your jealousy, so on, so on, so on, right? That's definitely not reduce your any negative emotion. For that, we have to do separate meditations. There are many few different types of meditations that right? each meditations are apply for reducing cause of suffering. And then first the beginning breathing, this is one technique, or you walking or moving as you were mentioning, these are also considered at the same goal, having more better concentration and calm mind, right? Um, but I can say definitely not help to reduce your anger. So the part of the reducing your anger, so build more love, compassion. So who you have anger, then you're giving more love, build it up the opposite mind, which is love and compassion, there there are no chance to have anger. But it is not simple and it's not easy, I can say that. Uh, it's dependent on practice and also it's possible, right? Okay, let's see. So let's now, uh, I can, um, again, um, take a little bit uh, straight body. So your body should be straight uh, and then other things is okay. Close your eyes. And then imagine that the people who you really daily meeting include your family, your um, the crew member, your friends, or like a store, the staff, whoever they stop you or whoever you're daily meeting, just think this all beings is in front of you. Imagination it, okay? Take a few seconds, really, really clear, try to clearly see in front of you all these people who you meet really every day. Okay, now you can go a little bit deeper. Say, it just not imagine, it's real there. These people are real there in front of me. Same color, same cloth, in the same shape. All this is in front of me, real there, okay? Included the difficulty one also, especially this is the more challenging, right? And now think these all people who are in front of me. They, are, they all have a one wish, which is very same, that seeking happiness. Every single individual one wants to happiness. Who is close to me, 
who's not close to me, who are easy for me, who are difficult for me, whoever, these people who improve me, everyone seeking or wishing to have happiness equally. And same time, every single individual one try to liberate or free from suffering, their own suffering. It's also equal. Equally, every single individual one has that wish to want to liberate or free from their own suffering. This is very common. We are believer, non-believer, everyone wish that way. That's for they are same wishing equally. And again, think someone here who knows how to free from how to they let them free from suffering. Someone there, they don't know how to free from their own suffering. And ignorantly, they react different things. Whatever, whatever their attitudes, bad or good. The both are try to free from suffering, but one knows very well how to free from suffering, and others, they don't know. Therefore, their behavior is so harms to others because they don't know how to free from suffering. And from my side, as a human being, same, It's temporarily difficulty or not difficulty. Temporarily, someone is my friend, someone's not my enemy. Temporarily, someone's close to me, someone far from me, but that's not remaining forever. It's changed a lot. Close to me, sometimes goes far, become enemy. Who are enemy, sometimes become friends. They are no reliable. So always change. Therefore, I better look at one kind of human being there instead of friends and enemy. Just say one kind of human being there is all wishing same that wants to happiness or free from suffering. And from my side, strongly, I wish to them have happiness. So you just go sincerely think from your death heart to wish them free from suffering. Wish them have a good health. Wish them have a happiness. Wish them have a whatever they like it. Just try to do sincerely. Okay, at the beginning, you're not becoming sincere, but you think more again, repeatedly, again and again, and slowly your mind goes more deeper and deeper, then you are really wishing from your deaf hearts to them or people. So take one minute for that. Wish them all equal.
Okay, thank you very much. And this is the how we are free from anger. And then again, uh, my thoughts, every morning before you go work or school or wherever you go, just uh, motivate it. Say, today I'm going to see this person and that person. Uh, I might definitely meet with some kind of difficulty people. I might have uh, some problem in today, but who, whatever, I try to not show anger. I try to be more calmness. This is more benefited than shows anger. So therefore, we always looking benefited. So that's just motivated every morning. I try not have anger. I try not have um, jealousy. Uh, um, you know the uh, that, and then the evening when you come back you will see better result, you will be happy. Then you can rejoice yourself. That's do daily, right? So, okay. So I think this is so far uh, what we can do in this one hour. Thank you so much. It was yeah, very friend. informative and I hope that uh, it'll help all of us enjoy our holidays a little better, but a little less stressful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Be well. Okay. Thank you. And see you maybe sometime soon. Yes, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah.